Hey, my name's Kelly Seuss. I'm an Extension I-5 Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things we've been seeing this year in uh, alfalfa. Uh, generally, when we talk about alfalfa scouting or alfalfa weevil scouting, we, we uh, look at the alfalfa degree day model that's based on the Oklahoma mesonet. The mild winter that we had caused things to happen pretty quick and uh, growers were having to go out and put out uh, sprays a little bit earlier than normal, about two to three weeks earlier than normal. We put out an application about uh, the end of February. And so uh, usually we're talking about the middle to the end of uh, March. So it, it, was, it was two to three weeks early. So the trouble with that is when you spray it, have to put out an application that early, the residual doesn't last that long. And so we have to have uh, at least one or two more sprays before harvest time. And so that was one of the issues. The insecticide resistance issue we've been looking at for the last several years uh, uh, to a lot of our pod rethroid products where they're, they're commonly used, they're very economical uh, uh, pod rethroids like Lambda Sahelithrin. But the problem is overuse of these products tend to cause resistance. And that's kind of what we're, we're seeing. And we've got about, uh, eight or so different products that we can use, but unfortunately, five of those products are pyrethroids. And so the problem is if you start using one pyrethroid and, and build resistance to that one pyrethroid, they all use similar modes of action with that same, same, uh, same classification. So we, we tend to build up a resistance to that uh, one particular class of product. And so that's, that's what we're seeing now. What I'm getting the calls most on right now is blister beetles. Uh, uh, we're, in, we're in a pasture area right now where we, we see a lot of grasshoppers. It tends to go in cycles where you see a lot of grasshoppers, uh, you'll see a lot of blister beetles. And, and, and we have gotten several calls this summer uh, in the last two or three weeks of blister beetle activity. It depends on the situation. If you've, if you've got them coming into the border areas, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're selling to, for horse hay, things like that, uh, really be concerned about your management, uh, keeping the weeds down, keeping flowering structures down management around inside and outside the field and uh, keeping those flowering structures because uh, blister beetles are really con uh, congregated on uh, flowering structures. Make sure you really do, do some good scouting and make sure that you're uh, able to uh, identify, hopefully identify uh, any kind of swarms that you, that you may have in the field at that time and, and hit it with a short residual pyrethroid and uh, within a few days uh, uh, that they should be gone. We've, we've got a new study uh, coming on that started this year. It's, it's a, it's a multi-year study with uh, several other universities and industry. Uh, we're looking at, our current model looks at, uh, uh, for alfalfa weevil, looks at the larval stage, when to start scouting. We're looking at the adult stage and when to see when that timing is, when adults emerge in the spring. And the idea is if we can get a, a handle on that and maybe we can uh, start applying things early before eggs are even laid in the alfalfa stems and even prevent the larva from hatching in the first place. We, we've just got some preliminary data from our first uh, year studies. Uh, we're we're kind, of, kind of testing things out a little bit to see what products worked and the timing of different things. We're looking at stubble treatments as, as well as threshold treatments. And so we're looking at some things like that. We're gonna try to hone all that in and, 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 and get some uh, more trapping mechanisms in place for uh, trapping adults. Uh, next spring and hopefully uh, we'll have some uh, more data, uh, more conclusive data next spring. If you need more information about uh, any alfalfa pest, just go to the SunUp website.